Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can book your first solo cruise on Carnival.com. Right now they are having amazing deals for a four-day weekend getaway or a three-day weekend getaway. Come along and I will go ahead and walk you through the process to book your solo cruise. And if you don't mind, please hit the subscribe and like button below and let's get started. All right, come with me and open your browser to Carnival Cruise. It's very simple, but first off, you need to go to manage and go to your V. IFP club and right here is where you sign up and it will show you everything you need to know about the FIVP club it's something that carnival um, has with their website and their returning returning cruisers so when you get some time please read down here um, and what it requires it's very simple Every cruise that you go on, you're going to get one point per day. So we're going to go to um, the rankings that you can go to. So if you're a first time cruiser, um, you have the blue, red, gold, platinum, and diamond. So for instance, I am on the red. And once you get 24 cruising days, you will start to go to the gold and then end up with the platinum. Every sale day equals a point. So people have sailed 200 plus days are at diamond level. That is like total goals right there. But I'm just now getting started. I've only been on one cruise, so I am in the red right now. On the side are the benefits per level that you, that you accumulate over time. So there are levels that you can reach. As you can see, you can get complimentary water bottles. You can get priority check-in and boarding, um, complimentary beverages. Um, you know, if you're a gambler, you can get some complimentary free tournament entries for blackjack and slotch. So there's so many opportunities once you start building those points dash days on carnival cruise um now that i'm in the red i do get three three offers and that's how you get discounts on your um, next cruise is just sign up and go for it so the next little clip um i do have um i got it blurred um be alarmed it's just i can't give out my vip number so here we go so my VFIP number has exclusive details. So see here, they have an exclusive VFIP offer. They had exclusive instant savings in Australia. I wish I could go to Australia. They have book early and save surely. They have half moon K and other exclusive offers with your VIFP membership so this is the one i want to show you guys fifty dollars per person i mean who can beat that it is an amazing deal and let me just show you how you get started um with the solo cruise you're still going to get a discount and it's 50 percent off deposits which is really good and it's just a good option for you if you want to go solo traveling. So let's get started here. Shop now. Once you get to this page, it's very important um, to make sure you go to the top up here. And you're going to click the number of guests and you're going to change it to one. Once you change it to one, you will see what is available. So we have a four day out of Port Canaveral. We have a four day out of the Bahamas. It is just awesome and it's very easy for you to travel solo. You just got to make sure you put one person because if you do not, then you're going to be paying for the second person. Also, these discounts are available all year round. Now, it's going to vary seasons, but let's just get started and look at the prices. For a four-day in Bahamas from Miami, Princess K to Nassau, 
$56 a person. Or you can go out of Port Canaveral and let's just see what the dates are going to be. So you see $55 for an interior room is not bad. You're literally there to sleep, eat, and take a shower, okay? And if you wanted to do it super quick, you can just go ahead and click it. And it's going to take you to the booking page. Now, you can view the itinerary. You can see the ship, which we're going to be cruising on the Carnival Liberty. And that's what the Liberty looks like. Um, it's the guest capacity, onboard crew, all that. So, when you go to book, always, always make sure that it's just one guest and one room. When you go to book as well, make sure you prepay your gratuities. That is just the most important thing. Or they're going to charge you after the cruise and they can add so many fees on top of it. So click gratuities. And then if you do want to add vacation protection, you're more than welcome to. So um, I usually don't. This is just my second cruise. Um, it just saves me a little bit more money. But if you want to, go ahead and click it. Click the state that you're in. And your total is going to be $285.27. That is not a bad deal for a four-day cruise to the Bahamas. I mean, this is the best time of year to travel, honestly. And there's no deposit because... It is going to be on October 31st through November 4th. If it was a later day, then you would have a deposit. So right here, that's the date you're selling out of, okay? So there is no deposit. You must pay in full, okay? If you don't want to do the vacation package protection, then it's going to be $236.27. Who can beat that? So now you will look down here and use this as an interior cabin. This is what your cabin would look like. If you want to squish the beds together, you can and it will turn into a king size bed or you can sleep on them separate. They are twin size beds. And if you do want to change the room, all you have to do is click change rooms. And they have the balcony, the ocean view, the interior. Um, that's the price. For just you, if you if you want to ball out like that, that's the price for the ocean view, and this is the price for the interior. Now, the interior has different ones, so make sure you read what's included in the price. If you don't like it, there's an upper and lower interior, and you can pay an extra $85 just to have the upper and lower interior, which doesn't make sense because I wouldn't want that, but... If you want it, um, it's basically a bunk bed right on top of the twin size bed. If you're adventurous like that, go for it. Um, I think it's pretty scary, but, you know, it can be fun as well, as long as the boat is not rocking back and forth. <laughs> but anyways, um, that is the second interior room. This usually is the cheapest, but obviously the special is running for the regular interior, which is not bad at all. Um, so just go ahead and select that room once you read out the interior rooms. I think you will feel very comfortable. I know a lot of people get claustrophobic, so if this is not for you, then I recommend you upgrade to at least a porthole or ocean view or possibly a balcony. But for me, as a solo cruiser, this is absolutely perfect. Let's go on to the next step. And you're going to select a room. And they're going to offer you different offers with your VIFP package. But we're going to do the free one. You can pick the back or the front. Um, the front is going to have entertainment and the spa and fitness. The back is going to include the casual dining, so it may be a little bit quieter than the front. But I usually will go with the back because I'm close to the food and food is life. Um, if you do want to do in the middle, it's going to be an extra $91. I know that is the best part on the ship because you don't hear the engine and you don't hear the crowd. But we are on a budget, so we are going to do everything that is included 
with this solo cruise. So whenever you decide, you pick a front word, continue, and always look for um, what is included. All of these decks, you can pay the extra, but why pay the extra? So this is what your room is going to look like. Um, they're going to show you what room number that you are going to be assigned to. And sometimes you get to pick. So in this case, we do get to pick our room. So anything in the green, it's good to go. I just like the room that they picked. So I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. Once you picked your room and made sure that you officially picked, then you can go ahead and book it. So make sure you put your prepaid gratuities if you want the vacation protection. And then you just go ahead and click continue right there in the green button. You will go ahead and fill out the information and then you will pay the full amount. $236.27. Not bad for a four-day cruise. If you want to bring someone, let's go back. Yes, we're going to leave this page. And we're going to basically start all the way over. So you just go to manage, go back to your offers in your VIFP page. And we're going to go back. And that's $50 per guest per room. So you're going to change the number of guests. Make sure it's two. And here are the offers if you want to bring your mom, your brother, your sweetheart, grandma, grandpa, whatever. So they have some amazing deals for the Bahamas. $50 per person for the room. You just cannot beat that. That's Princess K, Nassau, and you're going out of Miami. Um, they have some other ones down below, which cost a little bit more, but we're going to just, you know, base it on a budget. Okay. So they have an interior room and an ocean view, but we're just going to do the interior room. Okay. Now on this page, it shows guests one and two, $50 a piece, plus your port fees. If you don't know what the port fees and everything is, um, you can click the little asterisk beside it right here and just read upon the taxes and port fees and of that sort if you don't really understand it. Make sure you prepaid your gratuities. And that's for both of you guys. The added vacation protection, if you want it, you are more than welcome to add it. You would just pick the state that you both of you are in, which is Florida. And your total is going to be $592.54. That is not bad for a four-day cruise. I mean, your food is included in everything. And if you don't want the vacation package, then your total is going to be $494.54. That's it. You get to see the cruise you're on. You get to see the itinerary. Um, whenever you're docking, um, it's just great. And of course, they picked the interior room and you can always change that if you want to upgrade or get something different. But like I said, we're on a budget and you're literally eating, shower and sleep. That's all you have to do because you're going to be exploring. So just go ahead and continue. Have all of your information and then you're going to go ahead and pay the full amount right there. There is no deposit. The only way you're going to get a deposit is if you book something later on in the year because it's so close. So back to the page. We're going to click, you know, somewhere like in February. Okay. So let me go back and we're going to. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> Let me go back and review. It does look nice, don't it? <laughs> I've never been to Princess K, so we will see. But I need to go all the way back to the regular carnival page. There we go. So we're going to pick a date in February, okay? The prices are going to go up, so do not be shocked. But $90 is still relatively cheap for a three-day cruise. Um, they do show dates in the blue boxes. And it's 
still relatively cheap if you want to go on a cruise on a budget with someone else. I mean, they have the three-day, they have the four-day as we're looking at, but we're going to do it cheap and stick with the three-day. So these are the dates that $90 interior rooms are running the special. So you see both guests, $90 and port fees. Make sure you prepay your gratuities. Then you will have a $100 deposit and then you will have until December 11th of this year to pay off the $425. This is still an interior room. You will still go through the same process that I showed you earlier with the solo travel. You can see how many people are looking at this itinerary already. If you're not sure, you can always hold this cruise for 72 hours. Request off real quick or ask a friend go ahead and do it. All right. So with the vacation protection, your deposit went up to $198 and you still have the $425 to pay off by December 11th. It is so quick and easy to book on Carnival. I would not even go through the process of calling someone um, to book it for you. You see, it's just very easy. Um, I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below under the video and I will definitely try to answer anything that you have any concerns with. But overall, thank you so much and I'll see you later. <laughs>